Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy. I'm a homeschool mom to three kids. In today's video, drumroll please, is the first video sharing our 2022-2023 homeschool curriculum picks. Today's video is all about my kindergartner. I have had the easiest time picking out curriculum for my kindergartner. It's just been so simple and just, I'm really excited about our next school year. It's going to be great. So the first thing that I'm using, and this is something that's new to us. This is the kindergarten morning menu or morning binder from the Gentle Classical Press. Now I have only used the Gentle Classical Press's Christmas unit love that it's such a cute unit um, but i did notice that she has these morning menus or morning binders for preschoolers and kindergartners so i picked up the kindergarten one for my son and i put it in this blank menu that i got on amazon i'll link it down below for you but basically the first part is just like writing his name how old he is um, and how he feels and then it goes into calendar work. So the day the day it is, the month it is, the the number, the numerical day that it is, showing the day with tens and ones, and then moving into kind of how the weather is for the day. And then there's an empty page here because I can add in um, something else with that. So the kindergarten morning binder actually comes with like over a hundred and something pages. I don't remember how many, but a lot of pages of just learning activities. And a lot of them are like building letters, writing letters, like practice with letters, sounds or words and that sort of thing, math concepts. And so I'm just going to put in that separate page there, a couple of the pages that go along with our curriculum and what we're practicing for that week. Moving on to handwriting, and we are gonna be using Handwriting Without Tears, Letters and Numbers for Me. And I found it a little bit tricky picking which book to get for my kindergartner because they're not really labeled like kindergarten handwriting. They're labeled something like this, Letters and Numbers for Me. So I had to kind of look at the sample pages and reviews and try to figure out kind of where he would place. And I think this is gonna be a really good fit for him. And I really like the way that they go about teaching the letters. They have like little sayings that go along with the letters, like frog jump letters. Um, the formation of the letters is, is done in a very methodical order and kind of like if you're doing like a curved letter, they do all of the curved letters like in order so that they can kind of see how they can master one letter and then move into mastering another with relatively the same motions. And so I really like that. Um, he definitely needs a little extra handwriting practice. He's, he's a little bit... He struggles a little bit with that, but he's so interested in learning how to write his letters. Like he does it all the time. And so I think he's gonna really enjoy this little handwriting book. Okay, so I said that this video is all about my kindergartner, but I'm also going to be adding in kind of a side note of what we're gonna be using for my three-year-old as well, who I wouldn't normally have you know, grabbed anything for her yet, but she is asking for her own school. She really, really wants to join in and be a part of our school days. And so we are gonna be doing Primer with Poo, and this is from A Year of Learning, and it's all based on the 100 Acre Woods and the stories of Winnie the Pooh. So Primer with Pooh is a preschool to kindergarten program. And what drew me to this was the fact that I can actually use this with both my preschooler and my kindergartner. The pages are very customizable in the student notebooks in ability wise. Isla's little notebook is not very thick because I just included some of the easier pages for her to do, some of the coloring things and that sort of thing. Emmett's is a lot thicker because I included more of like those handwriting things and that kind of thing. What I love about this program is that it's literature based. We're reading the stories of Winnie the Pooh. And then as you go on, there's poetry, there's um, character traits and character trait studies, animal study like nature investigation and that sort of thing. There are recipes to make. There are lacing cards and little craft like felt little creatures and stuff to make. And it's a very like gentle, like enjoyable 
crafty type program and I'm really, really excited about it. I think it's gonna be a really beautiful start to our morning. Um, even my almost 11 year old was like, well, can I listen in on the, the poo stories too? And I'm like, sure you can. So everybody loves Winnie the Pooh and I like that it's the, the literature, not Disney's creation of Winnie the Pooh, but actually the literature. And I think it's going to be so wonderful and I'm so excited to do this with them and just create like a learning environment and experience for them. And it's like I said really gentle so I don't feel like I'm pushing a bunch of things onto my three-year-old and then I'll be just adding in things extra for my kindergartner to kind of challenge him a little bit too. Okay, moving into my kindergartner's main curriculum. So for his main studies, you guys have seen that we have been using letters and numbers from Gather Around Homeschool, and we love this program. Like, we have so much fun with it. It's so peaceful to do. We just read a little thing about the rainforest or the animal or whatever, and then he does his little notebook pages. And we've really enjoyed this style of learning and so we are just gonna plan on continuing this we are not even into book B of the third book of letters and numbers so I, my plan is to finish out level three and level four from letters and numbers and then that'll take us about halfway through the year maybe a little less and then my plan is to go right into ready to read from gather round because it's a similar style he's used to it i know that he enjoys this so that's what we're going to do something that i did discover recently that i really want to share with you guys because it's free and it's a reading program and that is treasure hunt reading by prenda this program is super high quality it definitely looks like a program that you would pay for, pay money for, but the PDF of this is completely free to download. So this is just, I, I separated it out and I'll show you how I did that. Um, it is a really cool program that's all based on this like treasure hunt and this like adventure and like camping outdoors and that sort of thing. And you have like base camp and then you have three different learning journeys that you go through and they build upon each other as you go through them. So it is a Orton Gillingham method of learning. So if you enjoy that style of teaching your child how to read, you may really like this. Journey one covers consonants and short vowels, writing letters and blending consonant vowel consonant words. Journey two covers beginning two letter phonograms, long vowels, some of the basic rules of reading and beginning sight words. Journey number three covers advanced phonograms, more sight words, and multi-syllabic words. This is a mastery-based program, and so there are little check marks at the end of different lessons where you only check it off and you only move on if the student is really grasping that concept. You don't wanna push them ahead unless they really understand that concept first. And what I think is really cool about this too is they have a whole colorful, cute map that has each journey on there and they color in each letter as they go or each phonogram as they go through the path and as they master each one. And then they also have little books that they color so as they read the stories, they get to color in that they read that one. Um, they also earn keys to color in and every time they get a sight words mastered, they get binoculars. So it's just like a really fun kind of incentive. And what's really cool about the program too is that there are videos. So in each lesson, it'll prompt you, okay, you watch video number two. And so you watch that video and it's like this woman on there, I believe she's the creator, her name is Kate, and you call her Adventurer Kate and that sort of thing. And she just talks to your kids about the concepts in a really engaging, fun way. And then they go through and do their little worksheets. Um, there's pictures everywhere, it's colorful, it's engaging. They have like little games where they color and cut out different things. Um, they also have some handwriting in here as well. And one thing that I thought was kind of unique about it is that the little readers that come inside this curriculum, they are not illustrated. They just have 
the words and then kind of comic strip boxes for your kids to draw their own illustrations in. And she breaks this down and explains why. And the reason is because kids a lot of times will guess what the next word is based on the picture that they're looking at and they're not really mastering reading that word. And so with this, they read the story and then they get to illustrate it themselves, which I thought was kind of a unique little thing. So with this program, I printed it out and I separated it by each journey and bound those together. And I really like the look of this. So I may like add this in as extra practice. I may do both the ready, when he gets to the ready to read program, I may do both ready to read and treasure hunt reading. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do as far as that goes, but I really like the look of it. I think it's super cute and it's completely free. I will link it down below. So if you're in need of a reading curriculum and you either don't want to or can't afford to spend a bunch of money on one, I definitely urge you to check it out. Something that's really cool about the Gather Round early learning unit, so letters and numbers ready to read, is that they have math included in those programs. And so for my son right now, the math in letters and numbers is a little bit easy for him. And so I'm trying to like add in some extra math things because he's definitely ready for more advanced concepts. Right now they're still going over, oh, this is the number four. How many is number four? Circle four things or draw four things and that sort of thing. And while he is learning to write the number four, which is important for him, I also know that he knows all of his numbers up to 20 already. And so I kind of want to move him on to like kind of a little bit more advanced thing. Also, just got these two little workbooks for math to just kind of add in to give him something extra to do a little bit more um, advanced concepts. So I got Smart Start Math by Evan Moore. This is the kindergarten one. And this one's really cool because it's actually a story-based math. And I think story problems and kind of getting used to hearing story problems is very important. So I have really, really super cute little stories. You can actually listen to the story if you scan the little um, QR code in the beginning and click on what track. Somebody can read it to your child if you want or you can just read it yourself. I will probably just read it myself because they're short and sweet, but they're all about just different math concepts and then there's usually like an activity for him to do. Uh, it's very colorful, there's a lot of pictures and there's some tracing and writing and that sort of thing and I just like the look of it. I think it's super cute the way that they have it laid out with all of the little stories in there. Skill Sharpeners by Evan Moore Grade K is the other one that I purchased and this one was one that I purchased because it was recommended by Maria who is the author of Math Mammoth that we use with my oldest daughter. Um, she recommends because her math starts at first grade. So she has some recommendations for Math K and she actually suggested this book. And so I looked into it and it just looks like a really cute math workbook. Um, there's some writing, but there's also some cutting and pasting, which my son really likes. Um, they're not expecting them to write every answer. They have a lot of gluing and pasting and that sort of thing, which I appreciate because my son is not quite there for all of their handwriting yet. So I, li I, I like that in this. Um, and it's just like a really cute workbook. It's colorful. There's a lot of pictures and objects and, and, and good math concepts. And I just like the way that they're laid out. So that is my plan for kind of adding in a little math now. I also am considering downloading the Math K from The Good and the Beautiful. They offer it for free PDF as of June 1st. So after June 1st, I may download that and kind of print some pages off of that and have him work through that as well because I think it looks like a really cute program, really fun, and I think he'd really like it. He is definitely, from what I can tell, definitely math-minded, and so I think that he'd enjoy doing that. He also is my child that I have a hard time giving him enough 
for school, like he always wants to do more and more and more. So I definitely wanna make sure I have a variety of resources to add in for him. He always has something that he can move on to when he wants to, so that is my plan for him. So those are all of my resources for kindergarten that we plan on using. I'm really excited for this year. Like I said, it was the easiest curriculum selection for him because we just really like what we're using now. And so we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going till it's done and then move into the next level. And I'm excited about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing our kindergarten resources. I will be posting a resource video and curriculum picks for my upcoming sixth grader. That will be probably later this week, so keep an eye out for that. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.